Good afternoon. I am Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz. I'm an emergency medicine physician, a public health expert, and I represent the people of Southern California's 36th district in Congress. This includes the Coachella Valley, where I grew up, the son of farm workers in a trailer park, and where I fulfilled my dream of practicing emergency medicine after graduating from Harvard Medical School. I am grateful for the opportunity to talk with you about how Joe Biden's Puerto Rico health and economic policy will improve the lives of all Puerto Ricanos. The Latino community is not a monolith. We come from all walks of life and different backgrounds. Latinos are public servants, military leaders, lawyers, doctors, nurses, teachers, artists, engineers, essential workers, and groundbreakers. Whether you live on the island or have established roots in cities across America, you are an integral part of the American story and have enriched American culture. The contributions and achievements of Latinos and Latinas to American life should be commended and celebrated. Yet Donald Trump consistently attacks our contributions to society and vilifies our very identity. Over nearly four years as president, Mr. Trump has done almost nothing to help working people get ahead. And now he's even refusing to sit down with Congress to negotiate critical economic relief and assistance to get working families through this pandemic. Vice President Biden understands the fundamental truth that we are all equal, and he is running to be a president for all Americans, including the three million American citizens living in Puerto Rico. Biden will respect and support Puerto Rico's renewal and full recovery by, first and foremost, providing the resources necessary to safely and quickly get through the pandemic, save lives, and responsibly get people back to work. He will protect the expansion of Medicaid, protect people with pre-existing conditions, lower the cost of prescription drugs, and double the funding for community health centers. Biden's plan will also invest in infrastructure reconstruction, promote economic development, support relief from unsustainable debt, and expand access to education and workforce development. Donald Trump doesn't seem to grasp that the people of Puerto Rico are American citizens, and he continues to neglect the disproportionate infections, deaths, and economic toll the coronavirus has on the Hispanic community. President Trump continues to fail the Hispanic community time and time again. Every year, hardworking Americans save their money and make ends meet, and they pay their federal income taxes. President Trump paid just $750 in 2016 and 2017, and no federal personal income tax in 10 of the last 15 years. President Trump only sees the world from Park Avenue. He looks out for millionaires and billionaires, but looks down on workers and middle-class families struggling to get by. He's used his power as president to expand the very same types of loopholes he exploits to get out of paying his fair share. That's why his 2017 tax bill overwhelmingly went to support the top 1% and major corporations while he deliberately withheld relief funds from our fellow Americans living in Puerto Rico in the wake of Hurricane Maria, a natural disaster I saw firsthand when I visited the island right after the hurricane. We have to do so much more than just defeat Donald Trump. We have to seize this opportunity to build back better. Vice President Biden will build a new administration that reflects the full diversity of our nation, including Hispanic communities. Joe Biden will not only fight back against the constant attacks on Latinos and immigrants, he has a plan to give the Hispanic community opportunity with dignity. Oportunidad con dignidad. Joe Biden has made clear that he is going to fight for every vote. He's going to fight for you. He's going to fight for us.